Hi, everybody. This is David Dar Dark Angelo, Global Marketing Director, CTFO. I have with we, me today one of my special guests, Dr. Philip Zinni, member of the CTO. Oh, scientific advisory board. But before we get to the questions and the big picture, foundational health pack and the super seven to help you slow aging, uh, Dr. Zinni is a family physician in Reno, Nevada, currently a uh, position for the largest gaming casino and uh, the past largest winery, the El Dorado Resort. He specializes in sports medicine, non-surgical, complementary, and integrative medicine and occupational medicine. I always introduce you. I always save the best for last and his experience in diabetic neuropathy, osteoarthritis, musculoskeletal medicine, chronic pain, and preventative medicine. He's a sports medicine. So in my book, that's the, that's the best because they try to get you out and back into real life as quickly as possible, because that's what they do with athletes. And that's what they'll do with all of us. So Dr. Zinni, welcome to the program. Thank you. And thank you for that very nice introduction. So foundational health pack, where does mm -hmm. it fit in everything you know about the brain and the body? Yeah. So um, interestingly enough, um, I just got off a clubhouse, um, podcast, um, and we were talking specifically about this because you need a foundation for your immune system. You need a foundation for your body. And I know it's redundant, but that's what the foundational health pack does. It gives you a, an ultimate vitamin. It gives you a broad-based vitamin gives you the super seven which is really locked into enhancing the kind of entourage effect of all the antioxidants and then the the, the key central component is the xanthomist which has the mangosteen which is the queen of all antioxidants it has something like 60 something uh, xanthones which are a third of all the known xanthones um, out there so we need to, and especially now coming into winter and uh, coming into cold and flu and everything that's happened in the past, now it's important to really boost and enhance the immune system. The, um, just before we get to Super 7 and the vitamin, share with people why they need to supplement. Why, how, how critical it is to their health. And because you look at that little capsule and you, 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 these micronutrients in such small amounts, but what happens to your body if you don't get them? Yeah. So there was a time, um, maybe last century, um, when we didn't have agri farming and you can get nutrients from the foods you eat. You can't do that anymore. And especially in the society that we live in, it, it's virtually impossible to get all the nutrients you need. So you have to supplement, hence the, the term supplements. So you need a, a broad-based ultimate vitamin in order to give you everything that your body would normally get from a well-balanced diet. That's one thing. The second thing is now because of the ravages of the environment and mutations, a normal person can't really readily absorb the typical supplement that's out there. So you need a specific supplement that is methylated so that your body can absorb it better and it's more bioavailable. So in other words, what's in the capsule, you actually get to absorb and to take in. So it's a double win-win, however you want to call it. It's the best of both worlds. Dr. Zinni, what a concept. You should get what's in the capsule, what's in the in the supplement. So I just want to one more question before we move on to the super seven is why is it that we can't our bodies don't produce the vitamins? Right? It, it, it's kind of odd. I always thought as a kid is my body must produce them. But no, that's not true, correct? No. Um, and if you think about it, um, I don't know of any organisms that could self-produce things because the, the body, except for vitamin D, 
Um, and even that's that's a process. But if you think about it, your your body is constantly utilizing it and constantly consuming. So there's no way that you could uh, auto produce it. I mean, it, just like your car producing gasoline. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know, running. That's good. Touche. Yep. Good point. <laughs> you, you can't do it. So you, you need to supplement it. And uh, since we're talking about cars, you want to put the best fuel. You know, if you've got a Ferrari, you want to put premium in it. You're not going to put in regular. You yeah. you want to put in the good stuff. And that's what supplements are. And that's what the CTFO supplements are. It's the good stuff. And you want to give that to your body. But it's so important for people to know that um, I think the, uh, I read something, uh, this, you know, vitamin D is the only vitamin that you can produce and you have to supplement and you're not getting it from the food and in the, the right amounts and the, and the, uh, in a, in a form that your body will recognize, which uh, you said so well. So um, our product is fantastic, was developed by doc, by uh, another doctor on the scientific advisory board and uh, is absolutely phenomenal. So let's move to Super 7. Okay. So what's so special with Super 7 and cell health? So um, I, I guess you have to back up a little bit yeah. And think about um, why you need an antioxidant. So the body, just, just sitting here, you and I are creating free radicals at the cellular level. It's called cellular respiration, which sounds kind of weird. Yeah. It's like your, your cells are breathing. They're not really breathing, but they're going through this process. Right. And that process of creating energy creates free radicals. So that, that's one source, and that's a source, no matter if you're sitting, exercising, sleeping, you're creating free radicals. And then on top of that, you throw the environment in there, so air pollution, the things that you, you drink, you breathe in, uh, potential chemicals. Oh, oh those, those aren't good for us? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no. Um, uh, yeah, so it, it's kind of... Uh, interesting, but if you think about air quality, even though the government thinks the air quality is good, all you have to do is just kind of look out your window, and yeah. you can see that it's it's not good. I remember there was a time in in L.A. when I was doing my my residency, you couldn't see across the L.A. basin because of all the smog. Now, most days you can kind of see some of the mountains, but there's still that kind of haze. So all that stuff you're you're kind of breathing in. So that's not good for you. So 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 let's stop there for one. So just to, the impact for people is so we don't miss this is that smog comes into your body and it gets into your your system and into you it crosses into your cells, correct? Exactly. So exactly. now we have this destructive, dirty, whatever in your cell. So take back over from there and, and doing the damage. It, it is because it's creating these free radicals. And then um, chronic disease causes inflammation that creates free radicals. Your immune system, if it's dysregulated, and I, I literally, in between podcasts, I read this article um, about they're now finding these markers of dysregulated immune system for something like long COVID. So in other words, long viral processes. And some people liken this to like chronic Lyme disease or fibromyalgia, but all of these chronic diseases, all these chronic inflammatory things, they also create free radicals. And then if you think about the, the most common ones like osteoarthritis, um, which is a chronic inflammatory disease or issue within yeah. joints, that creates free radicals. So your, your body is constantly being bombarded by all these free radicals. So you, you kind of need the cleanup crew, you know, so <laughs> you know, if you want to call it like the, the mop up or or, yeah. or the the yeah. it's the hitter at the at the plate. I, it's a mop yeah. up, and you need so, this massive amount. 
So, the, so the free radicals, so your cells in producing the energy spew out this crap as free radicals. And, and a, a visual, a good visual for that is like when you ever it, pull up the trigger on the, an old uh, pinball machine and it's it's bouncing off of the everything. That's what it's doing in your cells, correct? It's bouncing around it, and wherever it hits, it's creating havoc in 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 to the cell. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So so the cell is trying to be healthy and replicate, right? And because your body's constantly, you know, in the in the replication process. And wait a second, it, it, it's like it's getting torn up while it's trying to do this for you. And it, it, it shows in your skin, your health, you know, your everything. So take it away. Yeah. The body really likes uh, being uh, synchronous. It, yeah. it likes um, free flowing. It likes energy to move easily. Um, it, it likes joints to move easily, muscles and tendons and, the fascia, all the tissue yeah. can move easily. So whenever you have this chronic inflammation, the immune system is dysregulated, it, it's all um, off balance. Yeah. And the big fancy word is called homeostasis. It's, it's kind of like a, a nice kind of modulated balance that we like to create in the body. And all the free radicals just disrupt that. And it, it creates a dyskinesis or an, an unbalance that the body just doesn't like. So, so we have this damage happening right now in our body. Mm -hmm. And stress, I'm sure, is another part of that that, that activates it as well. As, so mm -hmm. now let's take, we know what Xanthomus does. We know what the ultimate vitamin does. Mm -hmm. Super seven, the seven superfruits from around the world, which are super antioxidants take over and, and tell them what's the cleanup crew do what's the what why is it so important so um what ctfo did was they took the seven best antioxidant fruits and put that all into one package and it's the most potent uh, kind of assemblage of antioxidants of of fruits that that produce or or create these antioxidants, so it's kind of like an entourage effect. So um, if you think about the kind of dating myself, but if you think about the the gunfight at the OK Corral, you know, it's kind of bringing in the posse in order to. I remember that. I remember. That. <laughs> so you you want to bring in all your friends. You want to bring in the posse. You want to bring in the whole group because there's a bunch of bad people and you want to bring in everyone you can and you want to bring in your friends, the ones that you can kind of count on. And that's what all of these fruits synergistically do together. They have slight subtle differences. Some help out with the eyes, um, some help out with the gut. So by bringing them all together, it's an entourage effect. It's a kind of posse effect to help quench or kind of uh, suppress and subdue and and neutralize all of these free radicals. That's 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 it's it's so it's so critical. And and in short, how important is it? I guess a better question would be. If you, if the free radicals just had their way and you didn't have the antioxidants, I mean, what's, what's the damage? What type of damage does the, does it do those so free for, radicals? Yeah. So for example, um, one of the, the fruits, cranberry, um, what the, the antioxidant property in that one, it specifically uh, makes the bacteria less sticky so this way uh the bacteria isn't going to stick to the cell wall where it's more classically uh, described at is in the urinary tract and that's why women classically take it for urinary tract infections because 
it makes the bacteria less capable of sticking to the cell and therefore creating an infection. So if we can help the body to, again, kind of create this homeostasis, kind of allow the body to heal itself, then you're naturally going to feel better. You're naturally going to feel better. You're going to work better. Operate probably look, better. You probably look better, your cells, right? Brighter, more spunky, um, a sparkle yeah. in your eye. <laughs> yeah, all, all that good you stuff. Hit, you, you hit all of, you saved the vanity ones till the end there, and then you you slipped them in there. Because we all, we all, we all want to look, you know, look, look good, feel great, live longer. Yeah, yeah. That That's the uh, thing. So, um, Stu talks about the the health span. Um, I I like calling it squaring the curve on the quality of life. So in other yeah. words, we want to live a real high quality of life for as long as possible. And then either one morning we don't wake up or, you know, we're doing that ultimate mountain bike ride and we drive off the end of a cliff and <laughs> we have a good life as opposed to that slow dwindle into the hospital bed where you're spending 80% of your healthcare dollar on the last 20% of your dwindling life. So invest now as opposed to having to spend it later right. on a dwindling quality of life. That, that's uh, you 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 make the impact. It's like it's like applying pressure on the pressure point right there. It's like, hey, you, you know, if you don't do this, it will do the unthinkable to you. Um, in clo in closing, you're the you're the doctor. You're you're the one who gives the advice. You're the when we listen to. What would your advice be to the listeners right now? So invest in your health now while it's good. I mean, it's the same thing with life insurance, right? You're yeah. feeling good, but you buy life insurance. Why? Because you want to make sure that you can mitigate anything in the future. And that's what the foundational health pack does is it mitigates against any future problem. So invest now. So this way you don't have to spend it later on. And by making that investment now, you're going to have a much better quality of life and you'll be able to enjoy to do all the things you want to do now. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you very much. My sports medicine authority because you keep us on the field and all of us listening want to be at the top of our game and in the game. So thank you, Dr. Zinni. We really appreciate you being on the, the advisory board of scientific at CTFO, being available for teaching and training, and really you're making yourself more and more available as, as I know out in the field and everybody appreciates us. So thank you very much. We really appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate the call. Bye-bye.